the club. Ah, good evening, kids. It's Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for a little bit of Dr. Here news. Oy vey, it's been an incredible day. I've been uh, busy up today getting some, uh, getting the new shutters put in the house. And well, they're, they're blinds actually, but also doing some more work around the house you know, while I have the time off. Oh, it's hard to believe that next week I'll be back to the grind. So, yes, back to work. Oh, yeah, but speaking of that, um, we also got this little image that's been out there. Yep, it's now confirmed. Yeah, they're on two week break for the cons, and they won't be back till filming, probably till around, um, let me see, if I remember correctly, it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of the 18th. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. No more filming pics for a while. It'll be either the 18th or the following Monday, the 20th. Um, other than that, you know, a lot of other things going on that we're about to talk about. Um, some interesting stuff. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we do have. All right. Okay, first off the bat, for you folks who have been missing the Instagram pics that have been going up, um, here they are over on Kisturbers. Um, They've put them all together, the latest ones. Um See, we have this one here from the one location. Um, this one here was from a while back, Monster in the Making, quote unquote. So you got to wonder what they're doing back there. Um, they get this thing well covered and all that, and somebody shot this through a window, apparently. Uh, of course, Kate Stewart being back. These symbols here. Those there. And of course, this treasure box type of deal, some kind of treasure chest, maybe. Uh, moving on, spectacular, and of course the location here. Um, and you see the scrolls that no one ever, you know, got a good look at to see what's on them. I say I wish I could zoom in just see what's going on with those, but okay. Of course the quote-unquote photo with Osgood here with this whatever it is blotted out. The what appears to be the inside of a plane. Some are theorizing this might be inside the plane that they were in, you know, during uh, Death in Heaven, Dark Water. <laughs> and this one just popped up the other day. Um, answer to the, the question of life, you know, life, the universe, and everything, you know, in, in this galaxy. And that is basically a throwback to, of course, well, part 10. This is, of course, a throwback to, of course, you know, the works of Douglas Adams. Um, for you, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans. So if you want to go take a look at these again, they've compiled them all right here in Kisturbers. I'll have the link for you in the description box as usual. Okay, next up, uh, director on Doctor Series 9 finale is quote-unquote complicated and different. Rachel Tullalay has been chatting to the BBC about the upcoming Doctor Series 9 finale. You can watch the full interview here. I clicked on it, and I got a short video. So... If you want to go take a look, maybe I missed something. Okay, the director who helmed last year's Dark Water and Death in Heaven said of the two installments, quote, These episodes are completely different to what I did last year. Episode 11 is one of the most complicated and different from what that I've ever done. It was his, it just has my head in spaghetti, end quote. Now, filming, of course, had begun on episode 11, which stars Peter Capaldi, blah, blah, blah. And although this week we see the actor accompanied by Jenna Coleman, Michelle Gomez, and whatnot so interesting stuff going on um i thought it's amazing they've brought rachel totally back again um she did a pretty good job on dark water death in heaven so you know i can't complain on that front it's very uh, nice to see they're going with the talent okay for you folks who don't know this doctor who theater of war is coming soon and this is a um another uh let's see this continues big finishes around a special adaptations of the Virginian, you know, sorry, the Virgin New Adventures, and of course you'll see familiar, some familiar faces if you've been tuned into the Omega Files here on this channel. Uh, there's the lovely Lisa Bauer, but of course there's the you know adorable Sophie Aldred. Um, we just had a Q and A with her yesterday, and everybody had a great time with that. I did too. You know, like I said, I was just there to let you know my fellow Whovians have a chance to ask their questions. That's why I don't. I'm just there to be the MC for that one. 
But still, we got a lot of amazing questions. Sophie was just incredible. I always love listening to her tell her stories about, you know, things she's done in the past, you know, um, things like that. Uh, it was just an amazing, amazing time. Okay, so if you're interested in this, be sure to go check this out. All right, moving on. Over in Doctor News, for you folks who don't know it, Peter Capaldi's in Lego Dimensions. They've con they are right, Lego have con confirmed that Peter Capaldi will reprise the role of the 12th Doctor in the upcoming Lego action adventure video game, Lego Dimensions. The interactive, the interactive game, which follows multiple characters from various Lego uh, sets and a virtual adventure, is going to be launching this album, or this autumn. What did I say that for? Duh. Capaldi's involvement in the project was announced you know, by Lego on Twitter. All right. According to this, more details were announced on Wednesday that he's going to be appearing alongside Jenna Coleman and Michelle Gomez. And, of course, Nicholas Briggs will be in there uh, doing the voice of the Daleks. And, of course, lead writer, executive producer, Steve Moffat, and Brian Minchin, executive producer. So, nice to see they've put a whole team on this. Hmm. I'm not a big, you know, gamer anymore. I very rarely touch video games, let alone Lego. But I figure if you're interested in it, go take a look. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just a little bit tired today. Had a long, long day today. Doctor 11, Doctor number 14 will be out tomorrow. And for you folks who are interested in that, but if you want a sneak peek right here, here you go. Um, here's the first few pages. Um, interesting stuff going on. Okay, moving on. Return of Aramem. Now, if you're not and not a fin listener to Big Finish, you're going to have no idea who Aramem, you know, Aramem is. Aramem was picked up by the Fifth Doctor for a series of adventures. Um, she first appeared in the Big Finish adventure Eye of the Scorpion back in 2001. And she, of course, departed in Bride of Pelada. But if you're interested in that, be sure to go take a look. Um, here's some nice, interesting stuff about the, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the first book in the series, The Last Pharaoh, is, gonna be, is written by uh, Ian and Claire Bartlett. And it will also feature an introduction by the original voice of the character, Caroline Morris. Um, the second publication of the series will be a novella, also written by Ian, which will be The Beast of Stalingrad. Um, submissions are currently being solicited for the third publication, Into the Unknown, which will form an anthology of 12 adventure. It's hard. 12 Adventures. So if you, wish to, if you wish to pitch a story for the collection, you can contact the publishers right here for further details. The closing date on this is the end of this month, the 31st of July. So, all right, get in on that if you're going to. Now, in 2016, two thir further publications are currently scheduled, Prime Imperative, a novel by Julianne Todd, and the previously mentioned uh, Pharaoh of Mars from Jim Mortimer. And, of course, there's a competition right here if you're interested in it. Be sure to check this out. You know, and all the stuff you need to know about it is right here. Okay. And, of course, last but not least, if you want a roundup of some of the stuff that's been going on, here's everything we know about Series 9. This is over on Cult Box. And this is just a nice little sum up of some of the things, you know, facts, figures, and whatnot. I didn't see anything majorly spoilery in here, but, you know, beware just in case. Sorry if I sound a little down tonight. It's just I am just really, really whipped. Whew. I have, you know, we put the new uh, blinds in all the rooms today. I'll, I'll have to do a video so you can see the new blinds. Um, also doing some work around the house while I have the time off. Spent all day yesterday when I wasn't, you know, doing the um, Q and A with Sophie. I was out in the backyard, you know, doing some gardening. I had to, you know, run the lawn, do some weeding, all that kind of stuff. You know, stuff I don't normally have time to do. And it's just a drag sometimes being on vacation for two weeks because then you dread that day you have to go back. <sighs> but that's all I have for you tonight, guys. Uh, Comic-Con's coming up this weekend. Don't forget to tune in the Omega Files. We'll be looking at Doctor Who and the Daleks, the first of the Peter Cushing movies. The following weekend on the Omega Files, we'll be looking at Daleks Invasion Earth 2158D. So, Nice little trip back to the 60s. Also, we get to sit down. You know, we may even sit down and go, hey, let's compare these you know, to the actual episodes they're based on. So you never know what kind of topics are coming up. 
Well, that's it for me tonight, guys. So take care. Ta-ta. Enjoy the rest of your night. Well, the last couple minutes of it, because as I record this, it's about to turn midnight, so you won't be getting this till the 8th. But have a good one, guys. Catch you later. Take care.